five six must cry game was number six. At the start for trial two, won't be long before they're called to move forward here on Friday night. I mentioned 10 races starting at 5.52. Uh, some outstanding races as well. The Gamma Light, a top race uh, for the open class paces. Standing start over the long trip, 27.60 metres. Uh, Excitus in the city, Jack of Clive, uh, Broadway's best. Uh, the Queen of the Pacific winner, Gumdrops and uh, a few others of course there's uh, two group twos the homegrown classic finals for the three-year-old fillies and the three-year-old colts and geldings uh, also to uh, be run on the card is the battle of the claimers final and uh, there's a uh, quaddy jackpot uh, to, on the uh, friday night as well twenty thousand dollar quaddy jackpot and that uh, quaddy jackpot pace final is uh, race number three so uh, plenty of features here on uh, friday night 10 race program commencing at uh, 5.52. So Mr Delaney casts his eye over the field and he's about to let them go here for trial number two. The tapes release away. Mr Scorcher began well. In fact, one tape released, one didn't. We have a uh, false start. False start for the... Uh, first attempt of trial number two so false start here uh, we've got uh, Mr Scorcher who did step away well that first time with Torita Air but uh, the uh, tape for the back markers did not release the 20 metre tape for Son of an Earl and uh, Musgrove so we have uh, a false start for the first attempt of trial number two
Runners back at the start. After a false start the first time round, the 20 metre tapes failed to release, so uh, the uh, 20 metre tape may be handheld this time round. Uh, see one of the attendants over there at the uh, the 20 metre mark. Mr. Scorcher stepped away beautifully the first time, was very fast. Uh, Tarita Air is over there with shares down. Note those changes once again. Uh, Zach Phillips on three shares down. Damien Wilson to drive. Uh, former Cup class trotter in New Zealand, Musgrove. Been in Australia for quite some time now, Musgrove. Great to see Damien Wilson back as well after that uh, terrible injury uh, he uh, sustained several years ago. Uh, had his first drive back during the week and uh, he's driving here, uh, Musgrove, uh, in uh, trial number two. So about ready. Mr Delaney lets them go. He went to let them go. But uh, this time, I think the front tape failed to release. So uh, we've uh, had a few problems here at the, uh, the second trial, the second stand start. The first one was uh, perfect uh, for trial one, but uh, unfortunately for trial two, the 20 metre tape failed to release, and then now the, uh, the front tape has uh, failed to release. The uh, runners are back uh, at the start. This time round, the... Uh, being the front uh, tape that didn't release, the uh, the runners didn't go uh, overly far, so it'll be just a slight delay before they are called up again for the uh, second trial. In uh, trial four, I noticed that uh, Easy Lightning is uh, due to uh, the trial. Uh, he's uh, going around on the gamma light from the stand start conditions uh, on uh, Friday night against the open class. So. Looking for some uh, standing start uh, trial experience to, to take on the big boys on Friday night. So the uh, runners uh, again uh, assembled at the start. Front tape uh, drawn across, and uh, so has the uh, the ten metre tape. So uh, we'll uh, start uh, very shortly. That uh, wind is certainly uh, swirling around. It's so uh, hard to get a gauge on uh, where they are uh, against the wind uh, when you're looking at sectional times and trying to analyse. Uh, performance yesterday at Yarra Valley uh, it was a very strong headwind in the front straight uh, so the, the sectional times for the, the front straight quarters were always a bit slower uh, but today at the trials here it's a very much a swirling wind now Tarita Air moves into position take three of trial two they're underway Mr Delaney lets them go and Mr Scorcher like he did on take one has stormed to a big lead early shares down second Tarita Air in third spot then Musgrove and Son of an Earl and a gap then to Louisiana Spring at the tail end of the field out in front Mr Scorcher leads by 10 meters Son of an Earl in second spot shares down in third Next on the inside, Tarita Air, then Musgrove, and Louisiana Spring is last of all. Uh, turning into the back straight, and the leader is Mr. Scorcher, son of an Earl in second spot. In third, shares down, then Tarita Air, Musgrove, and last of all, Louisiana Spring. They're racing an Indian file up towards the mile marker. It's Mr. Scorcher being tackled by son of an Earl. Son of an Earl gets past Mr. Scorcher now, drives to the lead and gets across to the marker pegs in front in second mr scorcher a gap then of about 12 meters to shares down a similar margin back to tarita air musgrove is second last louisiana spring is the last one and once again they're racing in single file in front son of an earl rodney petroff with a double yesterday at yarra valley looking for a win at the trials here today with the son of an earl leads by four meters up towards the 1200 meters mark in second spot mr scorcher third shares down fourth to Rita air then musgrove and louisiana spring was the last one 51 5 the lead time and the first quarter 31 so the first lap of this 
trial much faster than the first lap of trial one it's son of an earl in front by four meters mr scorcher second shares down third then Torita air musgrove and louisiana spring is the last one up to the half mile marker they go and son of an earl is the pilot leads by four meters second quarter 31 8 the half of 62.8 son of an earl from mr scorcher shares down Torita air musgrove and louisiana spring is last baller up towards the center meters mark. Sunderland on top from Mr. Scorcher's second. In third spot, shares down. Coming to the outside was Louisiana Spring and starts to sprint up quickly. Then Torita Air and Musgrove has galloped. Worked one off the inside, approaching the 400 meters mark, but broke stride and lost about 10 meters. Up towards the home turn, Son of an Earl tackled by Louisiana Spring. 30.3 off the back straight. Son of an Earl leads Louisiana Spring. They get away from Mr. Scorcher. Shares down to Rita Aaron Musgrove. Into the front straight. And it's Son of an Earl, Louisiana Spring. Over Mr. Scorcher in third. Then shares down. Out wide, Son of an Earl. He's drifting out to the centre of the track. Louisiana Spring peaking on its run. Then Mr. Scorcher, Son of an Earl's tie. But so are the rest of them. And Son of an Earl will win from Louisiana Spring. Mr. Scorcher shares down Musgrove and Tarita Air. Last quarter 30.3, the half 60.6 and the other Baron Park mile rate 24.6. point six. So uh, Son of an Earl, the winner, driven by Rodney Petroff. Of course, he's had a, a few wins uh, in the, the Monty races uh, at the end of last season and uh, doing everything okay in the conventional trot this afternoon son of an earl uh, stepped away well took on uh, mr scorcher in the back straight on the first occasion uh, was presented the lead mr scorcher wasn't uh, in for a real tussle in the back straight allowed son of an earl to go to the front and from that point son of an earl was in a dominant spot louisiana spring sustained a run from the 500 to the 100 loomed up as a big chance just peaked on her run late and uh, third goes to number two, Mr. Scorcher, uh, who uh, rallied by the Garrard Sprint Lane and three shares down, finished officially fourth. So the numbers are five, two, uh, four, two, three, one. So five, Son of an Earl, Rod Petroff, defeating four, Louisiana Spring, Chris Alford. Two, Mr. Scorcher, third, John Caldo. Fourth, number three, shares down. Uh, fifth, number one, Torita Air, leaving Musgrove being last of the six. Two and a half metres by three, the margins. Two and a half by three. Overall time was 2.55. The mile rate, 2.4.6. The last mile was covered in 2.3.5. 2.35. The last half of 60.6. 60.6 in the last quarter of 30.3. So that trial was uh, a good uh, eight seconds uh, quicker mile weight wise than uh, trial number one. I think they're all your details. Son of an Earl takes out trial two.